You wouldn't expect this tiny ship to be a critical vessel for the US Navy. So compact it can navigate the narrowest of waterways, yet so mighty it plays a key role in protecting one of the world's most formidable naval forces. This isn't just any vessel, this is the Boomin' Beaver, the Navy's smallest ship with a big heart and an even bigger mission. But what makes this modest ship so unique? Why is it so indispensable to the Navy despite its size? And believe it or not, you might even find yourself in a position to own one of these mighty mini ships. How so? Stay tuned, we'll reveal the secret life of the Boomin' Beaver and how you could potentially own a piece of naval history. Despite its unassuming moniker, the Boomin' Beaver is no mere tugboat, but a compact powerhouse that plays a major role in safeguarding US Navy harbors. Though dwarfed by towering warships, this 19-foot vessel, displacing 22,000 pounds at full load, packs a surprising punch. Its diminutive size, far from being a drawback, is a strategic advantage, granting it exceptional agility and allowing it to navigate tight spaces and swiftly react to dynamic harbor situations. This shallow draft translates to unparalleled operational freedom, enabling the beaver to hug shorelines, maneuver around piers, and even navigate close to obstacles just below the surface, areas inaccessible to its bulkier counterparts. Additionally, its small size simplifies logistics, allowing for transport on trailers or larger ships for deployment between different bases. But when you make a ship this small, you have to make every inch count. Boomin' Beaver was created with such thoughtfulness that every little part of it has its specific purpose. Its robust, welded steel hull, built to withstand the inevitable bumps and scrapes of harbor operations, forms the bedrock of its resilience. Nestled within is a powerful diesel engine, the lifeblood of the vessel, providing ample thrust for pushing heavy objects and maneuvering in challenging currents. While not exactly the Formula One among the ships, its speed certainly proves sufficient for the unexpected situations of harbor operations. And let's talk about what it's like being inside. When it comes to barrier boats, the top of the hull sits the aluminum pilot house. Here you'll find a compact command center offering the two-person crew a clear view of the surroundings and a comfortable workspace. Shatterproof windows ensure their safety, while essential navigation and communication tools keep them connected and informed. But the true workhorses of the Beaver lie elsewhere. Its bow boasts a thick rubber fender, specifically designed to gently nudge and push security booms or floating debris without causing any damage. Additional protective rubber guards encircle the hull, further safeguarding against the inevitable wear and tear of its dynamic environment, to put it lightly. And possibly the best thing about this deceptively small vessel is that it punches well above its weight in terms of functionality. Its agility and shallow draft allow it to navigate around the complex barrier systems with ease, ensuring their integrity and effectiveness. But don't be fooled, the beaver isn't a one-trick pony. Their versatility can potentially extend far beyond the beaver's initial duty. So does this mean that these boats could become the most valuable ones in the entire US Navy? Make sure to share your thoughts about its potential in the comments down below. The Boomin' Beaver is the very thing that proves that the maxim, good things come in small packages, really is true. Its size and design are not limitations, but strategic advantages, perfectly suited for a critical role in harbor security. Its agility, shallow draft, and logistical ease belie the power packed within its robust hull. And while larger vessels may capture the eye with their imposing presence, it's the Boomin' Beaver, the unassuming workhorse, that often plays the most crucial role in keeping things running smoothly. Imagine a vessel unburdened by the limitations of its peers. Unlike larger ships restricted by draft and turning radius, the Beaver glides through the maze of barrier systems without much effort. The Beavers are a class of security tugs which serve a critical role in the protection of Navy assets by operating floating underwater barriers, commonly known as port security barriers or booms. These barriers act as a protective perimeter, deterring unauthorized access to naval ships, docks, and bases, thus safeguarding valuable equipment and personnel from potential security threats. But before we talk about this more, listen to this. This ship was actually made for something quite different. When was the Boomin' Beaver made, and what was its primary purpose? 
Originating from humble beginnings, these specialized tugboats, also referred to as boom boats, trace their lineage back to the logging industry of the Pacific Northwest. In the 1970s, Chuck's Boat and Drive, a renowned builder based in Longview, Washington, crafted these vessels to aid loggers in navigating freshly cut timber down rivers. With their compact size and formidable power, the beavers proved to be invaluable assets in the rugged terrain of the logging industry. Recognizing the need for a small yet durable tugboat with sufficient power and maneuverability to operate boom gates, the United States Navy turned to Chuck's boat and drive to fulfill their requirements. In 2002, the Navy awarded Chuck's a contract for the construction of 13 boom boats, totaling $2,335,379 U.S. dollars, according to the Defense Department records. Over the ensuing years, Chuck's Boat and Drive continued to supply the Navy with these specialized vessels, although the precise number delivered remains undisclosed. The flagship of this esteemed fleet, the Boomin Beaver, designated as 19BB in reference to its dimensions and purpose as a barrier boat, exemplifies the ingenuity and craftsmanship of Chuck's Boat and Drive. Equipped with a turbocharged 1.55 gallon or 5.9 liter inline six cylinder 260 horsepower Cummins 6 BTA 5.9 diesel engine, the Boomin Beaver delivers an impressive pulling power of up to 7,500 pounds, commonly referred to as bollard pull. This formidable engine is strategically positioned deep within the steel hull of the vessel, ensuring optimal performance and reliability in demanding maritime environments. The low deck profile of the Beaver, coupled with its deep-set engine and sturdy construction, contributes to its exceptional stability on the water. With a draft of just 6 feet and a molded depth of 6.5 feet, this tugboat exhibits remarkable maneuverability capable of executing sharp turns with ease. Despite their diminutive size, the Beavers play a pivotal role in safeguarding the naval assets and maintaining security in sensitive maritime environments. In 2020, the Navy reportedly had 10 beavers in active service, although their current operational status remains uncertain. One beaver is believed to be stationed permanently near the historic USS Constitution at the Boston National Historic Park. Others are likely deployed at strategic naval bases such as Naval Base Point Loma in San Diego, California and Naval Base Kitsap on the Kitsap Peninsula in Washington State. Deployment Deployment of the underwater security barriers is a critical and meticulous task for the Boomin Beaver. Each individual section is like a puzzle piece, requiring precision positioning and flawless connection to ensure a watertight and impregnable perimeter. This is where Boomin Beaver's maneuverability comes into play. As I already explained, its shallow draft allows operation close to shorelines and obstacles where larger vessels could struggle. Of course, the crew has to be skilled and experienced. These people are trained to operate the vessels with the utmost efficiency, seamlessly connecting each section utilizing specialized equipment. The meticulous process creates a continuous barrier, regardless of the complexity, protecting the harbor like a tightly woven net, while the beaver's agility ensures optimal placement of each section, creating an effective and secure barrier even in challenging environments. Well, the nickname surely suits it well, don't you think? Maintenance Now, we all know that security isn't a static concept. It requires constant vigilance and upkeep. This is where the Beaver's second crucial role, maintenance, comes to the fore. Equipped with an arsenal of specialized tools and highly trained personnel, the vessel transforms into a floating repair station. Damaged sections are readily accessed, inspected, and mended with swift efficiency. The beaver doesn't simply patrol the perimeter, it actively ensures its integrity, guaranteeing the barrier remains an unwavering line of defense. Search and Rescue Missions Picture this, you're stuck. Water stretches endlessly in every direction, and panic starts to creep in. No matter how you signal, the rocks around you swallow your cries. But wait, a movement catches your eye. A small but sturdy boat cuts through the water with its crew focused and determined. It's the Boomin' Beaver, your lifeline in this watery maze. No flashy boats could save you from this mess, but where bigger vessels get stuck, the beaver weaves through reeds and rocks, expertly reaching you. The crew, 
trained and equipped, doesn't waste time. A reassuring hand reaches out, and you have finally reached safety. But these boats have so much more potential than this, so let's get back to the subject and explore what these vessels could be used for in the future. Boom and Beaver vs. Cyclone Class Patrol Ships The SWCM, envisioned as a stealthy surface effect ship, was a departure from conventional designs, boasting advanced technology and a larger size compared to its predecessors. However, despite initial promise, the SWCM project faced insurmountable challenges and was ultimately abandoned in 1987. In contrast, the PC series, derived from the proven Vosper Thornycraft Province class fast attack craft, offered a simpler and more expedient solution to replacing the PB Mark III's. The PC series, with a length of 186.2 feet, was larger than its predecessors, reflecting a departure from the compact size of the PB Mark III's. The Boom and Beaver, in contrast to both the SWCM and PC series, represents a specialized vessel designed for a specific role in port security operations. With its compact dimensions and practical design, the Boom and Beaver prioritizes simplicity, reliability, and maneuverability. Unlike the SWCM and PC series, which were intended for broader maritime operations, the Boom and Beaver excels in setting up and maintaining port security barriers, demonstrating the value of purpose-built niche vessels. Can I own one of these ships? While the allure of owning a Boom and Beaver might hold a certain mystique, the reality is acquiring one of these can prove to be a daunting task. These diminutive tugboats, designed for the specific task of deploying and maintaining security barriers around Navy vessels, are not readily available for civilian purchase. However, that doesn't mean that the dream is entirely out of reach. But what if a decommissioned 19BB somehow surfaced in a government surplus auction? While technically possible, such occurrences are incredibly rare. The last documented public auction of a 19BB took place in 2006, and even then, information about the buyer and financial price remains shrouded in mystery. Even if you manage to stumble upon such an opportunity, be prepared for hurdles. Eligibility for such auctions might be restricted, and the boat itself might require extensive repairs and modifications to comply with civilian regulations. But although owning a piece of military history comes with its own set of challenges, if you are as thrilled with this cute but mighty boat as we are, you can try and contact their company and give it a shot, or simply settle down with some boat that is similar but available for commercial purchase. Boom and Beaver Civilian Alternatives The world of recreational boating offers a treasure trove of similar tugboats ready to satisfy your aquatic ambitions. Here's where you should look. Chuck's Boat and Drive, the very shipyard that brought the 19BB to life, continues the tugboat production with their Freedom 21 Tug and Legacy 23 Tug. Both are built with the same dedication to ruggedness as their military cousin, featuring durable fiberglass construction that can handle years of wear and tear. Carolina Skiff This brand brings southern charm to the tugboat game. Their TSS series, known for their stability and shallow draft, offer excellent maneuverability in tight spaces. Think of the TSS 215 Tug as your own miniature harbor master, easily navigating marinas and coves. And if you crave more muscle, the TSS 245 Tug boasts impressive towing capabilities, letting you live out your boom and beaver dreams of pulling skiers or wakeboarders with ease. Finally, don't be fooled by their jet ski prowess. Sea Dew also builds capable tugboats. Their fish and ski tugs, equipped with powerful outboard engines and comfortable seating, are perfect for adventurous outings. Imagine exploring hidden islands with the agility of a Sportster 170 tug, or enjoying a day of fishing with the spacious Freedom 20 Fish and Ski, both blending excitement and practicality. So there you have it, the unassuming yet mighty 19BB, affectionately known as the Boomin' Beaver. This pint-sized Titan may not look like much, but its powerful engine, impressive maneuverability, and vital role in deploying port security barriers make it an indispensable asset to the US Navy. What do you think about this little ship? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content about the Navy.
Thanks for watching and wishing you smooth sailing and I'll see you next time.